Vin Diesel family and the rest of the Fast and Furious crew family are back for one last ride family, or at least the beginning of their last ride family, and the newly released Fast X family. But how is the movie family? I'll tell you right now. Family. This review is brought to you by Stamps.com. Sign up with the promo code MERL now for a special offer and stay tuned after the review for more info. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my review for Fast X, which is now in theaters domestically and around the world, the latest installment in what has now been dubbed the Fast Saga. Fast X is directed by Louis Leterrier, who took over for Justin Lin, director of Fasts 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9, shortly after production began. Justin Lin retains co-writing credit with writer Dan Mazzo. Dominic Toretto and his family are once again challenged by a figure from their past who is, once again, a character retconned into the evolving Fast Saga. Jason Momoa plays this villain, whose name is Dante, and let me say right up front that the successes that are present in this movie, many of them are 100% due to Jason Momoa and the character choices that he makes in this movie. Dante is unlike any villain that we've seen in this franchise before, but his quirks don't blunt his villainy or his effectiveness. He will make you laugh in one moment and then really believe that he is going to slaughter Dominic Toretto and everybody that he's ever known in the next moment. I've got to be 100% honest, I never really would have pegged Jason Momoa as the actor that would have the, and I'll use it in the acting sense, courage to make the choices that he does. If this didn't work, Jason Momoa would kind of be hanging out in the breeze. But for me, the character of Dante very much does work because of the courage that Jason Momoa shows with his choices in the role. It makes this movie stand out just that much more, and it's a big reason why there were a lot of parts of this movie that did work for me. Got eyes on Uncle Muscle and the kid. All right, everybody, remember the plan? Contain and kidnap. Thank you. No. No guns. Other major new additions to the cast include Brie Larson as a shadowy government agent, Alan Richson as another shadowy government agent, and Rita Moreno as Dom's grandmother, the very family that he speaks so much about. All of the other returning Fast regulars play true to type. Tyrese and Ludacris Bicker, Michelle Rodriguez Scraps, Sung Kang Snacks, Charlize Theron is still here for some reason, and Vin Diesel glowers and mumbles about family. Other Fast cast members, of course, make their various different appearances, some for the duration of the movie, some only for a scene or two just to kind of keep their presence alive in this franchise. And everybody that's established in this franchise pretty much plays their roles as you would expect them. But that doesn't mean that Fast X is devoid of surprises. It's actually a little surprising that Vin Diesel pulled back a little bit in this film on the gravitas factor, though Dom remains a character who is impossibly too serious for a franchise this dumb. What you're asking me to do is impossible. Nothing's impossible. You just have to have faith. But for me, Fast X really does pull back from some of the elements in the past two or three films that really kind of soured me on the franchise as a whole. It's never been one that I've really loved, but the last couple films really felt so self-serious. This movie really does feel like a return to the roots of what made this franchise work at the very beginning. And much like Momoa's presence as the villain, I think the movie is better for that. And actually, looking at the movie as a whole, I am very split on Fast X. More split than I anticipated that I would be. On one hand, the opening act of this movie, let's say the first 45 minutes or so, I think is the best this franchise has been since Fast Five, which I also think is undeniably the best movie in the franchise. The action works, the characters work, and you know, physics and gravity, these are scientific concepts that we left behind a long time ago, but the violations of those scientific concepts aren't as egregious as they've been, but I also bought the dramatic elements. It really is what this franchise is capable of when it is, pun intended here, hitting on all cylinders. After this point, however, Fast X becomes less of a movie than a series of different action scenes, some necessary, some unnecessary, that serve as a trailer for the next film. Because there's something I want to make very, very clear about Fast X. It is in no way, shape, or form anything approaching a complete movie. 
And when I say that, it's not just because it's part of, you know, the end of the road. The end of the road begins is what this is sort of credited as. And so, of course, there was some expectation that, yes, this is not going to be one self-contained story. But even movies in a similar vein, for example, the Lord of the Rings movies, obviously each one of those movies isn't going to tell the entire story. But those movies also worked on their own. They had a little mini arc, resolutions that actually made those movies feel complete on their own. Infinity War, obviously sort of half of... Of the end part of the Avengers story, but Infinity War feels complete in its own right in the sense that it resolves the conflict of that story while leaving a much bigger conflict for Avengers Endgame to wrap up. Th that's not what I'm talking about when I say that Fast X isn't a complete movie. It feels like there was a 300-page script written that is the end of the Fast and Furious franchise, and then somebody had a meeting with Vin Diesel and sat him down and just flipped through the pages in front of him and waited for Vin Diesel to put his finger into the script and go, stop. And that's just when this movie decided to end, because that's what it just does. It just kind of ends. That's it. There's no rhyme to it, there's no reason, there's no resolution to anything. It barely works as a cliffhanger, save for one major reveal that we get towards the end. But other than that, if you're looking for any kind of a complete experience, then Fast X is not the movie for you. It really is just, apart from the first act, a succession of things getting punched or blown up, and then some credits. I would say that this is half a movie, but Vin Diesel has actually been teasing and teased on the red carpet at the premiere in Rome for this film that this could potentially, instead of being one of the last two movies of the Fast franchise, be the first film in a trilogy to wrap out the Fast franchise. And I would say to that, you know, listen, as frustrated as I was by the direction of this movie, it does not salt the earth behind Behind it. I don't think that anybody's going to walk out of this film, even me saying, "Ugh, I'm done with this franchise. I never want to see another Fast and the Furious movie again. It's actually kind of the opposite, because as angry as I was at the narrative choices that were made in this film, it also perfectly sets up one last Fast and the Furious ride for the ages. I, I think that door is left open so completely that it could be potentially a grievous mistake to make two films instead of one last film. Because I think regardless of what anybody thinks of any Fast and the Furious movie, if you were to make one last movie after this one and market it, given all the developments that happened in this film, it could easily be a billion dollar movie, easily. The potential is absolutely there. Whereas if the decision is made to make two movies after this, then I think you risk testing the audience's patience just a little bit too much. I actually think the best thing for the Fast franchise here would be for this movie to be a box office disappointment, which would kind of force the hand of the studio and the other producers with Vin Diesel to say, listen, we just can't afford more than one movie. We don't need two more, but this definitely sets up the perfect perfect staging ground for there to be one actual last ride. So when it comes to a recommendation on this movie, I am, as I mentioned, very split because was I entertained? Absolutely I was entertained. I was as entertained by this movie as I have been any Fast and the Furious movie since definitely Furious 7, perhaps even Fast 5. But was I left satisfied by Fast X? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I would say this movie left me deeply unsatisfied and yet curious to see what the future is. I hate what this movie does, but I can't wait to see where the franchise goes. It's a very weird thing that they've achieved here. Maybe it's the Jason Momoa of it all actually bringing some interest to a character that as a villain could have been just very plain on the page. Maybe again, as I said, it's just the possibilities that they're setting up. They maybe can't pay it off in the next movie, but damn it, I want to see if they are able to. And I have to give the movie this. For somebody who's as down on most of the Fast and the Furious franchise as I am, to do what it does as far as the storytelling that it does in this movie and still leave me walking out the door anxious to see what they're gonna do in the next film, that is kind of an achievement. So averaging all of this out, I would say that I definitely enjoyed this film more than Fast's 8 and 9. I didn't like it as much as Fast 5, and I think that it is about as entertaining as the seventh film, but much sloppier and less focused as far as the emotional through lines. 
Ultimately, it may come down to, and again, pun intended, the fact that your mileage will probably vary based on how you feel about the other Fast films. If you didn't like the other movies, then you're probably not going to like this one. If you're a fan of the franchise, then I think that you're probably really going to like this one because it does go back to so much of the formula that worked. And if you're a little more in the middle like me, then I think that you're also going to find some things here that maybe were missing in previous films. Also, one quick public service announcement. If The Wrap and other media outlets have not already spoiled what happens in the movie for you, there is a mid credit sequence that you'll want to stick around for that is potentially very consequential to the future of the Fast franchise, so be sure you stick around a little bit after the credits start. The credits are actually pretty cool. It's almost like a mini James Bond opening sequence in the end credits, so they're actually worth staying for anyway. So those are my thoughts on the latest film in the Fast franchise. What do you think? Are you going to be hitting the on your way to the theaters this weekend let me know down in the comments below and before we go i want to thank the sponsor for this review stamps.com you know, you see a lot of the work of doing a channel on screen, but it's really just the tip of the iceberg. Anybody in this field is basically a small business owner, which means that every hour, every dollar, and every minute is precious. Stamps.com understands this because for the last 25 years, they've been helping business owners like me save time and money. With Stamps.com, all you need is a computer and printer, no going to the post office for postage or even to drop a package off. You can schedule that pickup right on your Stamps.com dashboard. Merch is a huge part of the online space and shipping costs can add up quickly. Luckily, Stamps.com has huge carrier discounts up to 84% off of USPS and UPS rates. For 25 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses because you get what you need right from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. Set your business up for success when you get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code MERLE for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code MERLE. Thanks to Stamps.com for sponsoring this review. But most of all, thanks for spending part of your day here with me on this Fast X review. Until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye.